my life. Sharks, wait a second, I gotta get this right <laughs> to help me out here, let's see. Um, it's all coming apart at the, as we speak. My schedule is long gone. Now, Ethel, would you please come up here? <coughs> I had so much fun mansplaining that I <laughs> We've asked the economists to deliberate on the winners, but before we do that, and before we hand out a certificate to everybody, we're going to call on Ethel, who's going to ask them to give us a comment. So, first of all, thank you very much for all those questions that you posed and that we just read. We are going to take them forward. We are going to embrace every, every suggestion, every recommendation you have. We take it very seriously. This is not just a staff survey. We really mean we want to be the group in the bank where we feel the most comfortable, all of us. So every suggestion you have matters to Jürgen, to myself. We take it very seriously. So keep them coming, and we will do our best to accommodate them all. So thank you very much. Uh, someone asked me yesterday if I could accommodate some time next week to talk to the women in the global practice. I think that on behalf of Lina and Shoba and Preeti and myself will try to do as much as we can to do that. And we'll send an email around if you want to talk to us. Some of, uh, some of you just provided that suggestion. Again, we will definitely do it, okay? So going back to this, um, we have some certificates for all of you. We will hand them over and we'll ask Daniel to give them to you. And after we give the certificates, I'm going to ask each of the chief economists to give us one tip to leave with us on how we can move forward, being more efficient on doing our analytical work moving forward. So Daniel, why didn't you come up with me? Later. Later. Later, the winners come at the end. Then we have to <laughs> throw all the balloons and everything, okay? So we'll give you an opportunity. But first we have certificate for all of you. Look guys, what a way to finish the first four days of our forum that with a session like this. I think that we need a round of applause for everyone <laughs> that made this possible. You are all fantastic, you know. Yeah, we started the, the, the forum talking about bringing people from outside to talk to us, and this is our forum. Here we have our own colleagues presenting and explaining to us how they're moving forward on engaging with our counterparts. This has been fantastic. You're all winners. You're all winners, and it's not only that you are winners, it's our countries are winners, our clients are winners. So thank you very, very much. Thank you for all the work you do every day. Thank you for all of you, because this is just a sample of what we have done. We want to have more and more. If we have more, we'll get more prices moving forward for everyone, okay? So thank you very much for doing this and for having had a s wonderful presentation. I we were talking there with Jürgen and saying, we are so proud of all of you. You all did such a fantastic job communicating, explaining succinctly and briefly, but very convincingly what you meant when you were uh, leading this, this, this um this analysis. So thank you very, very much to all. Now I'm going to pass it to you, Daniel, and you can um, um, you can just distribute the prizes. We have one for each of them. We have to check that the name is right. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we yeah. have a La La Land problem here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a bit of ethyl splaining going <laughs> on there. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. Uh, uh, truly impressive piece of work. Uh, uh, some of us read a lot, a fair amount of it. <laughs> so, uh, Joanne, congratulations. I know we can do better than that. Come on. You can have a seat. You can come and have a seat. Thank you. Oh, oh, we didn't miss. We missed. Yes. Big round. Big round. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you may have a seat now. You may have a seat. Now. 
So if now I can invite all our chief economists to come to the podium with me, before we announce all the winners, they will announce the winners, we have no idea who won. This is, and I hope we don't make the mess that we made in the Oscars. We don't have any Price Waterhouse here. So guys, this, if, you, if you make a mistake, it's up to you, eh? No? <laughs> okay, so before we go to that, we want to hear from all of you on a piece of advice that you leave for all of us. This room is, fa this room is fact, you know? We have here everyone that cares about agriculture in the World Bank. It's not just agriculture GP. We have here a, 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 um, people that are professionally mapped on agriculture and work anywhere else in the bank. We have uh, ACS colleagues. We have people from the country offices. We have people from headquarters. We have a, a PLs with us. Um, we have some visitors too. So everyone that has agriculture and food in their heart is here. So what we heard you saying, and this is what I we were reflecting there when you were asking the questions, um, what seemed to have mattered to you guys are questions related to general equilibrium. Marianne, when you were asking the question to, to Sergey, it resonated with, with us in that way. Efficiency, how efficiency matters in the analytical work we do. The political economy of reform. You know, you, today you were asking Steve about today, tomorrow, when it will happen and how the political economy enters into this. Uh, the intertemporal effects of the recommendations we make, and Daniel, you were asking I think Norman and 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 um, uh, 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 and uh, Augusto about this, and then the linkages with other sectors. You know, we are asking Joan how this this links with the others, and alignment of recommendations in the context of fragility. So, all of these things matter, and that's what we picked up that they were saying. I'm just wanted to share them with all of you so that we all take it with us after this session. But let me pass it to you and I will pass a microphone um, so that you give us one tip and then you can award the winners of today, okay? And here are the prizes and it will leave that to you too. Thank you again for coming. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know you came all the way from, from, from the bank to do this with us, but we really value that you are here and, and that you came to share this afternoon with us. So back to you. So um, the one piece of advice uh, that we in our office try to give to everybody that works in our regional research program is that often telling a story is even more important than a precise quantification of a phenomenon. And by a story, we mean a coherent analytical framework. In academia, this is known as theory, as having a theory that it helps us interpret facts that are coming from a variety of sources. So think of a coherent story throughout your project because it'll make your life easier when it's time to explain it to uh, our clients. So Danielle stole my, <laughs> my <laughs> storyline. <laughs> but seriously, I think this is really a very important thing because whenever I have to help teams uh, with their work, it's always around helping them find a, a storyline, right? People tend to get very stuck in their findings, but findings are irrelevant unless you can weave them into a story that you can tell your clients, that you can communicate, right? And we, we've all seen these pictures of these puppets made out of World Bank uh, reports that were never read. Well, this thing is that people don't remember a report, they remember a story. So I think that's really important. But I want to alert you to something that I, I'm dealing with at the moment with one of our colleagues, which is that his storyline doesn't match his findings. <laughs> so <laughs> that really is a problem. So, <laughs> so that becomes fiction, exactly. So make sure you have a storyline that actually matches the fact. It's a, it's a bit of a problem otherwise. And do you change the facts or the storyline? I'll yeah. leave it up to you. We're agnostic <laughs> about that. Okay, I, I, I sort of knew my colleagues were going to go down this path, so <laughs> I'm going to choose a, a, a different tip, which actually I picked up from the presentations today, which, by the way, the presentations were awesome. They were really good. Yes. Uh, Woo! Uh, and, and that is to engage with your, your counterparts and potential audience before the report is done. The idea sh shouldn't be, if you shouldn't think of ASA as something where a team goes off, hides in a closet, <laughs> and produces a report and then says, well, this is the truth, here it is for you. You gotta be engaging with them all the time, not just 
because you learn a lot from them, but also the, it increases the chances that the messages, some of which are uncomfortable messages, are more accepted. That is not a surprise to the people who might have a, a stake. So what uh, Steve and uh, Sergey did, I think, in, in Vietnam, wasn't it? Yeah. Or uh, Mekong, uh, uh, or Myanmar. Uh, I would s like to see more of that, and I'm sure you all do it, but really keep in mind that an ASA is a process as much as a product. Uh, and it's the process that's going to get you the impact. Okay, I have nothing left to say. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have said everything. No, but I, I just want to <laughs> reinforce a little bit of what's been said, but frame it a little bit differently, which is, uh, you know, we often sort of look at ASA and, you know, it's like the, the elephant, the proverbial elephant and the blind people, each one picking one. And, and usually we in the chief economist's office want to look at technical quality, right? That's what gets us going, right? I mean, does this, but, but I think as my colleagues have said, it's more than that. It's, is there a storyline? Is it fiction? Or is it fact? Does it match, et cetera? So, so the way I like to think about it is, I think the first question to ask is, is what is the relevance of this? And, and we all know, I think particularly at this time with ASA resources under stress, I think the first question we should be asking is, is this, is this important? I mean, why are we doing this? Or, I mean, you know, the CD should be asking that, but sometimes they don't. So perhaps we should be helping them ask that. I think the second question is a question of quality because having posed the question, there's no point answering it unless we can actually add some, some value to it. And then I think the third thing is what uh, Shanta said, engage. I mean, there's, uh, you know, and I, I'm unfortunately as guilty of this in my youth. Now I'm wiser, but I don't do ASA anymore. But when I used to do ASA, I think, I, and I think the bank has actually changed in that regard. I think the old bank was one where we sat in our offices, did the report, and then unleashed it on the unsuspecting client. I think we've gotten a lot better, and that, I think, is the right way to do it. But having said that, thank you all very much. I learned a lot from all of your brilliant work. The presentations were great, and thank you the to sharks, all The Sharks, ladies and gentlemen, the Sharks. <laughs> all right. Now, what we need, we need a little help. We, know we, need, we don't have a drum roll, but yes, we do. Everybody, please, can you g give me a drum roll? Oh, yes. Ethel, are you going to come up here? And uh, am I So, no, who, you're going to, y it's over to you. So this is hard. Um, we are hungry sharks, and we really wanted to bite everybody and bring you back on stage, but unfortunately, we had to choose. So on the first category, which was between Aparajita and Sergey, we decided to go for, well, it was really hard, it was really hard, <laughs> right? We debated and debated, so we decided to go for, but then we changed, and then we came back, <laughs> and then finally we decided on Aparajita! Yay! Come on up, Aparajita! Our bait no more. And Sergey, very well done too. It was really hard. So what we really liked about your work, Aparajita, was the, the, the clarity of the framework. You had a very strong framework. Um, you were asking a really relevant question that was very interesting and very relevant, very policy, uh, very important from a policy point of view. And you were doing this in a very hard context, right? I mean, there, I'm sure there wasn't a lot of data. It must have been quite difficult. So really well done. Well done. So on the second one, a uh, reminder it was uh, Steve versus Norman and Augusto. And there again, it was very, very difficult. We sweated bullets on that one. <laughs> we were torn. We debated. There were some fights amongst the <laughs> sharks. You can see the big bites there. The big white. The big white was really tough on everybody else, but we managed to uh, we managed to come to an agreement, which is hard amongst <laughs> sharks. And so we decided to go for drum roll. Come drum roll! Come on, everybody, let's go. We decided to go for Steve. Steve. So a number of reasons 
why uh, we picked Steve, not because you guys didn't do a fabulous job. So once again, you know, really hard to choose. But Steve, uh, we felt you really managed to give life to this point we were all making about a storyline. And hopefully your storyline matched your facts. <laughs> um, and the storyline was, we also felt really adapted to the context because that's the other thing is that you don't tell the same, you know, the same fairy tale, you'll tell very differently to two different kids, right? And same thing with our clients, you, you, we are selling a message. And we felt you really used a story that worked for, for the Vietnamese context. You also presented it as building on their success, mm -hmm. which I think always makes it, I mean, all of you, many of you have kids, you know, build on the success, do better. Yeah. And, um, and then you followed the, the, the third of the recommendation, which is engaging from with the client from the beginning. So very well done. Woo! Sorry, Steve, no kissing chief economist. That's a golden rule in the bank. No, it's not. Oh, I see. Do we need a drum roll? Uh, not yet. Oh. Hold on. I have to do my little skit. <laughs> so the last Wait. one was Sergey <laughs> and Joanna. Once again, it was very, very difficult, not least because Sergey was there again. And we thought, this time we've got to get him. And then we thought about Joanna's work in a very difficult context. Gosh, you know, how much harder does it get in the dry lands of Mali? And so that's eventually... Drum roll, drum roll, come on. What convinced us? So Joanna, congratulations. Woo! So Joanna. Well done. Thanks for reading it. So, and Sergey, I think there should be a consolation prize because not being nominated, we figured that being nominated twice is even better than winning out of any of Woo! these contexts. Sergey! <laughs> congratulations. Come on up, Sergey. Come on up. We really had to give you a special congratulation. <laughs> ben Price was the chief economist kiss, and you get to kiss them all if you want. <laughs> so, once again, really congratulations to all of you. Um, all your work is really interesting, really well told, and asking, once again, the right questions. So wonderful to see this great work. And thank you to you guys for inviting us and uh, educating Thank you, us. Sharks. Come on, give it up for the Sharks. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your chief economist. Now really bring it, really bring it. Thank you. They're all available for kissing after, so thank you very much. All right, now we've got a half an hour before the big finale and the cocktail party. So nobody go anywhere. I'll see you back here in half an hour, a little wrap up, and then we're going to have a cocktail and everybody's invited. <laughs>